Okay, a short while ago I released a, a new action on pshotmagic.com called Mannequin that repairs skin uh, in Photoshop, but it takes it to an extreme level to where you can almost get a fake type of effect, which is good for a lot of things. And it's also adjustable where you can lower the opacity of the uh, generated adjustment layers to get the skin more natural. Uh, but I've since uh, created a new action called Skin Repair Pro. And what this is going to do is going to give you a more natural uh, smoothing effect to any uh, skin tone uh, in Photoshop, primarily faces, where the, uh, the repair is going to appear more, more real than uh, using Mannequin. Um, so I'll get right to it. In order to use Skin Repair Pro, it needs to be loaded into your Actions palette, okay? So you need to make sure your Actions Palette is visible and go to your icon in the upper right hand corner, choose Load Actions, navigate to the Skin Repair Pro uh, P-Shop Magic folder and this is the folder downloaded and unzipped from our website and double click the Skin Repair Pro uh, Action. Okay, once loaded into the Actions Palette, expand it. Inside there's uh, the Skin Repair Pro Run Action itself and uh, some about information you know and so on and the, the uh, action also comes with this image here so you could uh, try it on something immediately that has a lot of uh, wrinkles to it and could use a little bit of help so let's run skin repair uh, skin repair pro uh, on this image so we'll just click it in the actions palette and then we'll click the play button and this will maybe take about i don't know 10 15 seconds or so to complete And we're waiting for it now to get done. And once it's complete, you're going to have a few text messages. It's going to uh, basically tell you what to do and how to make uh, the final adjustments to it. So pay attention to these. Okay. Now, uh, once the effect is complete, you'll have the original image down here. And then you'll have uh, the layer that contains the... Uh, the skin repair itself. And you can see when I'm clicking that on and off, it makes a big difference. Now, what you may want to do here, and let me zoom in a little on his face, what you may want to uh, do is not have the skin repair in other parts of the graphic that doesn't include skin. And this is how we do that. First thing you want to do is make sure that your foreground here is black, okay? If it's white, you want to change that to black, okay? Uh, now you want to click a brush, click the brush tool, and select a, a proper size. Now you want to click inside the layer mask here, and that is the white box in the top layer. Okay, Make sure that is selected. Once that is selected, and you have your brush tool and your foreground color set to black, what you're going to do now is paint within your image. Okay, And this is going to paint with black inside your uh, skin repair uh, mask layer and what we're doing here is we're removing the smoothing effect from areas that we don't want it uh, You know like his hair and uh, you know the background the area all of this is kind of blurred to begin with This could more or less be kept and then maybe you want to make the brush a little smaller And kind of take a little bit out of his eyes so his eyes are appear a little bit more natural and Possibly the mouth here too. Now. I'm not doing uh a really careful job I'm just giving you an example and uh, now when you click on and off you'll see the difference that is be uh, before the effect is applied and uh, after and as you can see you get a very very we'll zoom in here we got a very natural looking repair uh, to the skin itself and uh, what I also like to point out is that the skin repair mask layer is set to an opacity of 60%. Now, if you raise this, you can increase the density of the, uh, the skin repair. And obviously, if you lower the opacity, you're going to be lessening the effect. So I'll give you an idea here. If we lower it, you can just keep taking it away till you have nothing. And uh, we can get back to near the original 60, and then you can go all the way up to 100, where it's really too much. It, it's just a, plate, a fake uh, plasticky look. 
So normally 50-60% or so is going to be about right. Okay, now let's zoom back out on this guy here. And uh, once you're satisfied with the um, results of the skin repair filter, all you need to do is to make sure that your skin repair mask layer and your original are both active in the layers palette. And uh, which, you know, you have the eye next to them, which shows that they're both active. And go up to the little icon in the upper right hand corner, and you can either choose Merge Visible or Flatten Image. And let's choose Flatten Image here. And now what we've uh, essentially done is we've created a single background layer and the skin retouching repair effect is now permanent. Uh, at this point, you know, you can make other adjustments to the photo as you see fit. If you need to adjust the hue, saturation, brightness, contrast, uh, whatever. And that's about it. Uh, it's a simple action to use. It does a great job. And it's free. You can download it today uh, at absolutely no cost at pshotmagic.com. Thanks a lot for watching.